Welcome back artists. In this video I'm going to do a Halloween themed painting. A lion wash painting here. I like these two jack-o'-lanterns. I went a bit grumpy and the other one happy and enjoying himself. I like the contrast between the two. I'm going to start like I often do with my watercolor graphite. Just lay in my my darks. And just so you know, I initially sketched this out in pencil, then I went over the pencil lines with my Itoya blade pen, which has water-soluble ink in it. I like the effect that it gets for line of wash paintings, so I oftentimes use it in line and wash paintings, like we're doing here. Now, as you can see, I'm left-handed, and my source of light is off the page at 10 o'clock. If I were right-handed, it would be off the page at 2 o'clock. This is very common for artists to do that. And then I'm thinking about where the shadow side of my various objects are at. Later I'll come right over these dark areas with watercolor paints. Uh, this will make my paintings a little bit brighter, a little more vibrant. You'll notice that by omission I'm leaving the lighter color areas. All right, there we go. There's our watercolor graphite work done. That's our underpaintings. Now let's start with our watercolors. Pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns are obviously orange. I don't have an orange, so I'll have to make it. Just mixing red and a yellow here. It's something that looks about like an orange on my palette. There we go. That's a lizard crimson and hands of yellow. I'm going to darken I'm going to darken the shadow side now a little bit more with the quadacridone burnt orange. Also add a little more texture here and there on the surface of the jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, let's do the stem of the pumpkins here a little bit. I'll put on some quinacridone burnt orange and then charge it with um, a dark color like Prussian blue. I'm going to put some more Prussian blue elsewhere around the pumpkins just to drop them down, make them darker. Let's do there eyes here and their insides of the jack-o'-lantern which for me will just be bright yellow looking as if there is a candle or something of that light, a light source inside the jack-o'-lanterns like you typically see all right let's put some ground in here I think I keep this in sort of a vignette style. A vignette style is a French term, just means a very simple style, very just essential elemental painting. Oftentimes I go diagonally from one corner to the other, and I think I'll do that here. I need to put my shadows down here too. This is Prussian blue. Out here on the edge of the shadow, I'm just going to let it fade away to nothing. If I get my timing right, when it's half wet, half dry, I can scratch through the paint. There we go. Okay, let's add a little sky. I'm going to... It's going to be daytime in, in my painting, so I'll just put in a little... A little bit of light blue, a bright fall afternoon when these 
two jack o' lanterns are talking to one each are talking to one one another. I'm going to take the same blue, which is a cerulean blue. It's actually, well, I guess technically it's sky blue, the Cheap Joe's product, but it's cerulean blue. And touch it on my subject here to help add a little bit of highlights to them and a little more interest. Add a little bit of darkness right here at the top. I need to darken my eyes here. All right, there we go. There's our jack-o'-lanterns. Got the grumpy one and the happy one talking to one another on this autumn day, vignette style. I'll let that dry, then I'll sign it and post it with our friends online. I want to let you know that I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.